24 minutes in front of 5 o'clock on your Dan Ingram show on New York Town. Do it, honey. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. When you've got worries, all the noise and the hurry, you keep the help I know. When Peter Seltz read The Herb King, that we were going to use nudity, he became politically very nervous. How is this going to affect the uh, board, the trustees? And so he was very nervous, and he was really coming from a very political place. And so he said to me, um, do you think you could wear leotards? <laughs> I said, nope. He said, well, do you think you could at least dim the lights? <laughs> I said, nope. And he said, all right. I want to say one thing about doing parades and changes at this particular time. When I first said that I'd like to close the museum, I didn't really know how this parade and changes would be different than it was 43 years ago. And then I decided not to, not to try to restore it historically, that there was just too much going on in the world. And the people I'm working with uh, in my workshops and the people that, that uh, I'm connected with are, is an international group. They come from Korea, they come from Germany, they come from France, they come from England, from uh, Ireland. It's a completely international group, and they are doing a workshop training called Tamalpa Institute. This is my community. And so I think I made a phone call. I, I think I, I don't remember, but I think I said, you know, maybe it would be a good idea if we came back and closed the museum since we opened it. But I just had a, a great uh, uh, respect and, and, and a great feeling of, of uh, beauty for this place. And I felt that it needed to have some kind of a ritual to close.